Now on The Spin, we are joined by performers Lloyd Daniels, Danielle Hope and Matt Lipinskis. They are over to promote Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, which will be staged in the Borgosh Energy Theatre from August 12th. Guys, great to be in your company. Matt and Lloyd, if I can start with you guys mm-hmm. first, you're popping your musical cherry with this um, stage production. Yeah, so put, put, put it that way. Yeah, we are, I pretty guess. Pretty much. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to pop my cherry. Can't wait for you. I can't. Is it nerve-wracking becoming part of such a big show like this because it's been going since the late 60s 70s it's developed such a huge fan base there's mm. such an expectation there and but this being your first musical theater role how are you feeling how do you feel playing joseph you've got uh, it you've got the big one mate not big me shoes to fill yeah big massive fill. but i'm very excited like the rehearsals are about to start and it's just going to be brilliant it's going to be a lot of fun i think that's what we're all looking forward to yeah. As Joseph, is there a particular moment that's coming up that you think, I can't wait to perform that particular scene? I can't wait to perform Close Every Door. Mm-hmm. Because I can feel I feel like I can really get into it. Already now learning the music, it's just it's gonna be phenomenal. Donny Osmond, who played the role of Joseph before, he said that was his favourite uh, yeah. scene to do as well. Oh it just looks brilliant. Even on the actual set it looks brilliant. I'm so excited for it. And Matt the Pharaoh. Mm-hmm. Is there a bit of an Elvisy vibe going on with the Pharaoh? Oh, a massive Elvis vibe. Like, he is literally an Elvis wannabe. He thinks he's Elvis. He walks and talks like Elvis. So it's a really good character role for me. So it's my, obviously my first sort of, like, uh, debut on sort of, like, a stage tour. And, um, yeah, it's a great character role to do. It's what I'm really happy about. So I can really get into that and really work those hips and legs. <laughs> there'll, be like, there'll be a lot of thrusting in Ireland. Don't worry about that. I'll tell you, Ticketmaster's going to be inundated now with yeah. that. <laughs> Danielle, um, you're playing the narrator. I am. Yeah. You are on stage pretty much throughout. So would it be fair to say this is a full vocal workout? Oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, it covers pretty much every single note um, and every word. And I think because I've got to tell the story as well, it's going to be um, a bit of a challenge for me. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And we're just so, so excited. And it's really nice because we get to have two weeks in Dublin. Mm-hmm. And it's my first time in Dublin today and Matt's as well, mine, like yeah. in Ireland Great. at all. So, uh, it'll and be you've really got Irish nice. family. This is yeah, I've got family in Cork. And <laughs> How terrible is yeah, that? Yeah, I know. So everyone's going to get get across to see it. I'm so excited. One of the things uh, I have a lot of respect for for performers is learning lines. And with Joseph being sung throughout, is that easier than helping to memorise lines, Tanya? I always find it easier to remember lyrics. Um, I think because there's music, there's kind of like a rhythm, isn't there? Mm-hmm. So you, there's only kind of one way to learn it. Um, and then you can kind of put in, you know, your own characterizations. Um, so, yeah, I think it's kind of a double edged sword, isn't it? Because then yeah. actually it's sung all the way through. So the pressure is constantly singing. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you've got some dialogues to split it up, at least you think, OK, I can just focus on my rest, acting yeah. now and, and let your voice breathe a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, I think uh, I, I enjoy doing it. I just did Les Mis and that's fully sung as well. So mm-hmm. it'll be a similar process, I think. Uh, for you, lads, have you got particular vocal warm ups now for this challenging roles? Because like that, as we were saying, it's sung throughout so you need to keep the voice in tip top condition Lloyd yeah I'm going to bring a steamer <laughs> I'm very excited about my steamer I'm bringing honest. whiskey yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you guys to say something like I've got some honey <laughs> I'm gargling with that I'll yeah. bring honey alright okay very good I do think it will be a lot of pressure on your voice but I'm sure you know it will come as we go along sort of thing it is a muscle at the end of the day so as long as we're working out the muscle then we'll be fine ah oh, there you go <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm looking forward to working with two great singers because you know I'm not a, I'm not a singer by trade um, mm-hmm. but like I'm really looking forward to learning and you know taking tips and everything so it's, I'm, I'm just what I'm looking forward to but when you see how people have managed to adapt to an Andrew Lloyd Webber production mm-hmm. like Chris Moyles for example he was in Jesus Christ Superstar yeah. and mm-hmm. I never would have thought of him mm-hmm. you know, being able to perform and yeah. they were knocking it out of the park he was great I saw that um, at the O2 and they were amazing. And I think actually the dynamic between the three of us, because we all bring something completely different to the yeah, party, yeah. it's going to be a really nice combination. And we can all learn something from each other. And I think that'll be really nice, fresh energy, um, all coming from different backgrounds. Oh, that's, I got a quote here from a good old Donny Osmond, as I was saying earlier on. He played Joseph. And he was um, saying that um, you can't hide behind any trickery. It's just you and the audience. Because like that, you have so much concentration that goes into performing. Can you let your guard down at all 
and enjoy the moment, Danya. I think you can definitely enjoy it if you are fully focused and in it. And I think um, the thing, the reason I love live theatre is when you get on the hamster wheel, it won't stop until the end of the show. So you can't stop and do another take. Mm-hmm. You can't say, oh, I'm not happy with that. You just got to go. And that performance will be unique and you can never repeat it because we're human. And I think that's why people keep coming back and mm-hmm. will continue to to live theatre because you just never know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So, And I find that really exciting. And yeah, there's no, there's amazing set things going on and lights and special effects. But really, it's just you telling a story to your audience. It's such a well-known musical as well, and it's really, I mean, families love it, like, children all ages love it, and that's and there's such a energy from the audience when they come and see it, because even if they have seen it before, they kind of, they, they, they know the song, so they're like, you know, they're tapping their feet, they're clicking their fingers, mm-hmm. and that, you, you feed off that as a, as a performer, like we all do, we all yeah. feed off that, and... It, it makes us it gets us going and it puts you up at that level and as long as we you know we get to that level and we stay there and we don't drop it then we'll be fine excellent it's going to be a great show guys Andrew Lloyd Webber of course uh, Danielle you'd know him well from Over the Rainbow he came across as a very nice man but in the end of the day he's a businessman as well like when you think of we're just saying how, oh, yeah. how long the likes of Joseph has been running for yeah. have you seen that steely side to him um, I wouldn't necessarily say steely I think the better businessmen are the ones that don't ever show that and he's so warm and generous and is also a fan of theatre and he loves what he does and he's a musician as well as a producer so he's kind of half one of us and he wants he's a fan of theatre and work and he just loves it and wants it to do well and he's always been so kind and warm to me and he, I know he's really excited to come and see us us do the show that will be brilliant, won't it, lads? Well, you can imagine show, Andrew Lloyd oh, in the show. That. Imagine that. Oh, that's one I don't tell them he's in the audience. Right? <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Give them a thing. chance. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Oh, that's, gonna, that's insane. That's going to be very exciting knowing that he's there. Oh, wow. That. Yeah, God, God, you don't need that nerves in advance knowing <laughs> that he'll be sitting there. Um, you've been involved in some big TV shows like Over the Rainbow, X Factor, Dancing on Ice. And those shows can garner something like 11 million viewers. Yeah. What's more nerve-wracking, knowing that you're being on a show where you've got 11 million watching at home on TV or in front of a live crowd? Lads, I'll start with you, Lloyd. How do you feel about that? I think more nerve-wracking is the live crowd. Uh, I feel like, you know, when you're on these TV shows, you do get the whole week to practice and get something set for what you're about to do, whereas when you're in front of a live audience, you're not quite sure what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, I'd say in front of a live audience, I definitely get more scared than I do when... I'm on TV. <laughs> and Matt, how would you feel? Well, EastEnders wasn't too bad because I could do a couple of takes. We usually did it in like one or two takes, which was good. Um, but the, the skating for me, because obviously I'd never skated before and that was compl- like something completely different. And then to... Just just when they go and they're counting you in, it's like, and three, two, one, and you're live and it's like, and next up we have this person. Then you look li- watching it and then they go, okay, and you come to you and then you're like, okay, now I've got to skate in front of like <laughs> 10, 10 million people and you're like... If I fall over, it's going to be really embarrassing. Um, but yeah, and I, I, and it's weird. I get a better buzz off of a live audience, so mm-hmm. I'm more. I was more. I'll probably be more terrified doing the skating than I would live audience. So. And Daniela, what was it like for you? Well, we had a live studio audience and the cameras, and I think live theatre it's possibly a bit more nerve wracking because until you actually get out there you have mm. no idea how the audience are feeling what kind of viable energy mm. they're giving whereas at least you can't see the 11 million people mm. I mean you just <laughs> see the screen and the red light flash and you think okay this is scary because it's live but I can't see all their faces when there's 2,000 people sat in front of you like entertain us okay and I can see all of you you know I think that's probably for me a, a little bit more daunting now we're going to have just a bit of fun before we let you guys go as you can see no no expense has been spared on these prizes that we want to give you we've got Gucci, Last Vegas a Gucci bag there we go uh, Robert De Niro just on another note what's happening to that fella you know like he's just turning out these horrendous comedies but listen hopefully you might like Las Vegas and then Mark Wahlberg in Lone Survivor and as we were saying earlier on it gives away the end. So <laughs> you've got those to win. And so what we had, the questions are these. Okay. There are 29 colours in Joseph's coat. Can you name all 29 colours? Oh, wow. I have to be able to very soon. It's your so. job. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. That Danielle sets up the, the show and she goes, and it was... And then we and sing it back. It was yellow and was it red and yellow and green yeah, and, and brown blue and, and continue. Is it crimson? Is it crimson? Is it, there's a there's crimson, a crimson in there. I think there's, orange, there's a couple of colours I've never black. heard of. Some, uh, yeah, uh, azure, azure, yeah. azure. Um, azure. Um, ochre, mauve. Or something like yeah. the mauve can go. I know the last yeah. one. I've I know the last mauve. one. The last one is blue. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know, I think true. for that alone, Matt deserves <laughs> Last Vegas. Yes. There yes, you go, yes. Matt. <laughs> Use it as a frisbee if it doesn't I'm entertain you. And finally, for Lone Survivor. Got a fawn in there. Am I oh, there's a fawn in there as well, yeah. <laughs> Who replaced Jason Donovan as Joseph during the 90s run of the show? Philip oh. Yes, well done. <laughs> Lone <laughs> Survivor <laughs> <laughs> is yours. Thank you so there you go. Well, listen. You're playing Joseph. I mean, you, need to, you need to eat <laughs> some of this. <laughs> Do you know what? I've, I've got the Joseph DVD. I'll be fine. <laughs> <It'd> be absolutely <laughs> fine. Watch the Donny Osmond version. I will. Lloyd, Matt, Danielle, thank you so much for coming in to us. Uh, the show is running in the Borgosh Energy Theatre from August 12th yep. to the yes. 23rd. Uh, right. Tickets are on sale. Guys, I uh, hope you have a great run. Looking forward to seeing the show. Thank, Cheers. thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Pleasure.